Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're all well. It's Thirsty Thursday again and this week we've picked something from Bordeaux in France. We have got the Echo from Lange Barge in the Puyac region. Here it is, it's beautiful. Because on Sunday we're having some friends around coming around for a lovely shoulder of lamb. It's going to be perfect magic. This is going to cut through all the fat of the lamb and bring out the flavour of the meat and the wine should sort of sing through as well. It's going to be magical. So I thought I'd just talk through a little bit about Bordeaux. It's quite a complicated region. Um, it's an area in the west of France. Some of the most famous names of, in the wine world come from this region, like Petrus, Chateau Le Tour, uh, Chateau Lafitte, Rothschild, Sauternes, they're all from Bordeaux. So the region mainly produces Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot grapes. So if you're a Merlot fan, you want to head to what they call the right bank region, which is on the north side of the Dordogne River, and is where you'll find wines from Pomerol and saint Um If you prefer Cabernet Sauvignons, then you want to head towards the left bank region. This region is called the Haute Medoc and houses the big four appellations of Santa Fe, Puyac, Margot and saint Julien. So it's within these appellations that the big name vineyards sit and they will each produce a Grand Cru wine, their main wine. Um, and these are the top quality wines, the ones that you can lay down for years, um, that sell for gazillions of pounds. Um, they'll also produce a second wine and this is generally made in the same style as the Grand Cru but the next level down so it's slightly more accessible it won't age quite so well but it doesn't have the enormous price tag of the Grand Cru either so this wine Echo de Large Barge is the second wine of the Large Barge vineyard in Puyac is mainly made from Cabernet Sauvignon with some Merlot added in and is an outstanding second wine it's called Echo because it echoes the elegance and aromatic character of the Grand Cru it's a medium body wine. There's impressive creamy black currant and strawberry notes, little sweet cassis in there. Um, the tannins are super silky, but extremely ripe. It's fresh and lively with a long and balanced finish. And you can lay it down for a while, but I wouldn't drink it any later than 2029, 20, if you can wait that long. Um, it's 13% alcohol um, and it's normally 79 pounds, but today they're doing it for 70 pounds. That will go on all week. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, Thank you for listening. Take care and see you soon. Bye.